Hi, I'm Tom Berger with Cookie Daddy TV. Today we're going to make Ozark pudding. We got the recipe for Ozark pudding out of the new Southern Garden Cookbook by Sherry Castle. We met her at a University of North Carolina food symposium and it's a wonderful book. It tells the history of foods. For example, what we're making, Ozark pudding. Pudding, as you probably know, is what the Brits call dessert. Long, long time ago, that's what they called dessert here, was pudding. So, we're gonna make Ozark pudding. Also, in her recipe, she uses apples, I'm gonna use pears. She peels the apples, I'm leaving the skin on. So I'm making it a little different. Also, she calls for a cup and a half of sugar. I took a half a cup of sugar out, and I'm adding cocoa nibs. We will start with a half a cup of all-purpose flour and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. You just make sure it's mixed nicely together. In a larger bowl, we'll put two eggs and a half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to whisk these together until they're kind of frothy. And this is the big bowl where we put everything in. Okay, that's looking frothy enough. Now, we're gonna add sugar and keep on whisking. I might change to a spoon as this thickens, because that's what's supposed to happen. See, it's now pretty thick. Now I'm gonna add the nibs. Now I'm gonna add the tablespoon, I mean teaspoon, sorry, of vanilla. A cup of pecan pieces. Heck, this is looking good without the pears. You think this will be nice and gooey? I think so. Now let's throw in the pears. And stir to coat. This is a red pear, as you can see. I think they're pretty nice and juicy. So, we now have everybody mixed together. We just need the flour, the baking powder, stir this up, and then we'll put this in the prepared baking dish. Prepared, I mean I've, I rubbed butter on the insides. Use my fingers. The dry flour is incorporating with the moistness. There we go. I have a buttered, or let's call it prepared, baking dish. This is an eight by eight. And let's smooth it out. Get it in every little corner. Our oven is preheated to 325. The timer is set to 40 minutes. We turn on the timer. And again, as I always say, I'll check it after about 25 minutes and probably flip it around because it doesn't bake evenly and we want it to bake evenly. Also, as you look at it, you want the top to become a little crusty and brown and the sides bubbling. Uh, trust me, you'll know when it's finished, but that's just something to look for. The Ozark pudding is out of the oven. It's cooled. I've cut out a piece, threw some whipped cream on it. This is the one that has pears instead of apples. We have not tasted it. Also has cocoa nibs or cacao nibs or chocolate nibs instead of an extra half a cup of sugar. Cacao nibs are, I think, chocolate in their purest form. Um, it's not real sweet. Think of it almost as a roasted coffee bean. And you can find cacao nibs, cocoa nibs, chocolate nibs in your finer food stores. If you have a chocolate store in your neighbor that really makes chocolate products, they definitely should have cacao nibs. Um, and also they're available online. So, 
as we say here at Cookie Daddy, eat well and eat often, and in this case, we're gonna eat dessert first. The cacao nibs add a crunch. The pear is just lovely. I think you ought to try this. It's very nice and really simple. And I bet it verges on elegant, depending how you serve it.